but no, for new releases, again, a fairly short list this week. We're, we're not really, again, we're not making a huge dents, but I will tell you right now, the first one I want to talk about. Under an hour. I wanna, <laughs> it's not even on this list, Dom, because I wanted to surprise you with it, but I got it on my slide here. Ghostbusters Afterlife. Hey, I watched yeah. it. Yeah. It's yes. so good. It's so good. Fuck. It's so good. My favorite thing in the entire world is now, like, trying to find that sleeper sneaker thing to like slip into you and Mahaffey because oh, we don't talk that God. often except for like during like, these peak parts of the week and when I get a damn it Ernie out of the blue from <laughs> Mahaffey and it's, I'm like uh, what and then I realize what it's all about yes yeah Ghostbusters After Life was a true love oh, letter to the original two films and then a little bit of a, a hopeful love note to what could be next I, I loved every minute of it dude so I watched. So I watched the uh, Melissa McCarthy, Kirsten Wig. I enjoyed uh, that movie. I did too. I thought it was fine. I was like, "This is great." I don't like the fact that all the original Ghostbusters are not Ghostbusters. They're just random Cameo, people in there, yeah, which yeah. is great. Throwing uh, Bill Murray out the window, awesome. Yeah, I was Dan Aykroyd being the taxi driver. Yeah, I ain't afraid Fan, of no ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Boom. Um, I thought it was fine, and then I watched this, and I'm like, "Fuck, this was so good." <laughs> Have you said uh, this movie sent him down a spiral? Yeah, man. I I was getting all kinds of goosebumps. I think, you know, I don't know about most people, but when I get the chills or goosebumps, whatever you would call them, my nips get hoard. My nips were hoard the entire time. Every time, <laughs> a little bit of music trickle, a little bit of just even like the playful kind of prance of the piano, do ba do ba do. The same thing when they first go into uh, the, the the library in the beginning of the first film. It's a little bit of like just playfulness, and then you, of course, the actors did a great job. Uh, not, and I don't mean the original cast. I do truly mean uh, the. Let me go ahead and throw these spoiler banners up. I do truly mean the uh, the cast you see in the trailer. Wonderful. Finn Wolfhard. Yeah, did a wonderful job. Um, Paul Rudd was incredible. Uh, the girl who played Phoebe. She was hilarious. <laughs> yes. I loved her. She was so good. When she started just cracking jokes, like deadpan jokes. Yeah. And like <laughs> her, her like a way of blending in. <laughs> yeah. I was it, it was definitely like every every single time that she you're right, every single time she did drop one of those, I was like, This is gonna be good. Like yeah. I, after the first one I was like, Okay, this is her and then of course like the one that you don't see in the trailer at all was truly like the little show stealer podcast. Her podcast like, was great. Yeah, her little friend. I'm like, yes, I want more of this guy. And how that went full circle in the whole movie was fucking awesome. Like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're uh, what are, you're my one subscriber. I, f- I was like, I know how that feels. Yeah. <laughs> it was soup to nuts. The movie was so good. I loved it. <laughs> Happy said he ended up watching Ghostbusters one, Goonies, Clue, and Shaun of the Dead. That's a good. That's a good day. Yeah, that's a good day. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm due sorry, for I'm not a Shaun of the Dead rewatch. I I love. I think it's I. Th- the band is called I Monster, and there's a particular song that's in the middle of the very beginning of Shaun of the Dead, and I've been getting random TikToks with that song, and I'm just like, oh, really? I need to watch Shaun of the Dead. And now here we go. The universe is like. Mike sent me the picture of. Sean and Ed when they're listening to electro music when Pete walks in and they both look up like this. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike's like, if there's one picture that encapsulates our friendship, it's that. And I'm like, you're absolutely right. Oh, that is you. <laughs> does that make me Pete? Pete. <laughs> it's four Peter in the Sarah fucking Fano morning. <laughs> it's a Saturday. No, it's not. It's fucking Sunday. <laughs> and I've got to go to work in four fucking hours. I remember seeing that movie in theaters. I snuck out of Shark Tale because I was not <laughs> old enough to go see an R-rated movie. So me and my friend Brittany went to go see Shark Tale and then snuck out of it. And then that's awesome. Went to go see. Um, this is back uh, when you were Shaun near uh, AMC's and Regal's and uh, this was the Regal MacArthur legit named uh, Regal MacArthur. movie theaters. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. R.I.P. MacArthur Center. All right, P. Um, yep. But next on our list, something that we have not talked about for three weeks in a row, Peacemaker. All right, so before I go any further, this picture that you will see if you've got the live stream up in about 10 seconds, this picture, 
If I'm lying, I'm dying dumb. I've been watching these YouTube videos with my daughter recently called Miss Rachel. And there's a whole moment where Miss Rachel is singing about numbers and shit. And in the background is this baby blue background with these little like oil painting looking like fish or whatever. And it's the same exact energy that this guy has right freaking now. If I'm lying, I'm dying. It's the same energy. And I know you're like, I don't know what you're talking about, Ernie, because the delay is 20 seconds long. And it's yet to <laughs> pop up. But hopefully right here is when you're going to see it. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, there it is. It. Yeah, you can, see, you can see yeah. the, the, it flex yeah. a little bit. But, like, she, yeah, she's just sitting there like, and now we're going to do A, B, C, A, B, C, meow. And now I get to see John Cena holding a giant Desert Eagle .50 with an extended <laughs> extended barrel covered in blood spatter. And I'm like, yep, yeah, this is what I think it is now. Every time I see it. I want to like, I want to watch, like, I've, I really want to like this. I'm 20 I, minutes into the first episode. I heard the it's episode. so good. It's funny, man. There's, it's definitely funny. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta take the John Cena out of it. I gotta get past the fact that he was the most unlikable part of fucking Suicide Squad. And like, I did not like him in that movie. But I love James Gunn. And I know that this is gonna be great. And I've heard nothing but fantastic things about it. If you, I've heard it. If you funny. want to gauge this show alone from one clip, just watch watch the title sequence. So when you just I've heard, introducing yeah. I've heard about it. Yeah. The title I've heard sequence it's so good. It's so fucking good. Because he is so I just weirdly fucking shaped. I hate John Cena, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> if you stop going John Cena and you start going Peacemaker. It, it takes it out. I mean, it's like I, it's the same reason. Like um, for the longest time, my wife did not appreciate Benedict Cumberbatch, aka Burger 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 Burger, to anybody online. Uh, it's because one of the films that she first saw him in, he was a pedo, and ever since then she was what like, "I'm out." What movie was that? Uh, well, sh the girl in the movie was like fifteen. What movie though? Uh, not Atonement. Something like that. Oh, yeah, it's one of those. It was a period, it was, yeah, it was a period it was piece. A period piece yeah. He ends up marrying the girl later on, which doesn't make it okay, but it's definitely still weird. So in her brain, though, that guy not so great. And I'm like, yeah, but he's an actor, and the reason you don't like him is because the actor's so good. But eh, artist and I don't art. like John Cena is because he's fucking John Cena. Because he's a giant Ernest goes <laughs> Ernest P World. <laughs> <laughs> But no, so far so good. Uh, I, I haven't seen great. the rest of it. Obviously, I want to watch it. The rest of the actors uh, are, are are just as fantastic as he. Well, according to you, they're better than he is. So, <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> Next up, I have thoughts, and I'm not gonna spoil anything. I, mean, I, I really got to be good on these spoiler banners. Spoiler banners down. I did not like the end of this show, Dexter New Blood, this season. I liked it better than the ending of the original. I will, okay, I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. <laughs> I went into this show knowing that this was the end game. I'm a spoiler, spoiler, spoiler burner. Just spoil it. Spoil it. Like, okay, yeah. Just put a spoiler. I was. <sighs> I went into this. I went into this knowing that him getting popped was the end game. I, I went into the show knowing there would be like a, a naked dick shot of fucking what's his face um, the Kurgan the Trinity Killer oh yeah John Lithgow John Lithgow I thought it was going to be just straight up dick out he's he's going to be secretly uh, his dark passenger or his, uh, what's his name Harrison's dark passenger was going to be just a, a full on naked John Lithgow standing yeah. there next to him in the snow at the end and it wasn't, and I was so disappointed. And I'm like, why did I want to see John Lithgow's dick that bad? Like, is it just you know, when I measure up, you know, I don't know, because because so, so many people online were like, I will never look at Jonathan Lithgow the same again. And I'm like, he wasn't even really in the show. Like flashbacks count. What are you talking about? Yeah. Like Clancy Brown, fantastic, fan Love fucking Brown. fantastic. Better the burnout um, than the fade away. You know what I mean? Like he, <laughs> I'm so happy that he ended up being like the weirdest uh, <laughs> serial killer with somehow magically preserving powers. Like none of their skin was decaying. Yeah. Uh, in their little uh, like, uh, puppet viewing boxes, if you want to call it that. Um, 
it looked like some fucked up arcade game room. You know, and you're like, oh, we're gonna, right. Let's go play some Pac-Man. Pac-Man's got skin. Oh God, like it was just really weird. But um, but no, I I enjoyed the show and the season. And now it I'm kind of right. like, let's just leave it like, where it is. Just leave it. Don't yeah, make yeah. the thing. Don't make the next thing with Harrison and bring him <sighs> back as Harrison's dark passenger. Like that's that's literally. I, I feel like if I'm they do sure that, it's, worse, it's too on the I mean, nose. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, bye. they're gonna fucking do whatever they want to because it's gonna make money. But like, I just want a more like Angel Batista, it. man. I just wanted him to be there more often and like see He's Dexter. Great. Love like, him. You know what they're doing? I just wanted him to be there and be like, yeah, what are you doing, man? Like, what the fuck? Where you been? Yeah. And then, nah, fucking is that right? Terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh well, um, everybody got a payday. Good for them. Bye bye. Michael C. Day. Hall is great. Love him. Yeah, I want him in more stuff. What was um? Oh, the, the gamer, the movie gamer with um. That's the only other. <laughs> that's the only other thing I could name with Gerard that has Butler. Michael C. Hall in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just. Dancing at him all fucking weird. It's like, oh, Dexter's about to fight the guy from 300. And it's like, well, not really. <laughs> I just bought 300 and 302 on iTunes. I love 300. 302, I love for different reasons. I never saw it, but I know Ava Green is in it. And... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. All the things you wanted in James Bond, Casino Royale, you got yeah. in 300 Part 2. Chef's kiss. Um, 